All right, let's talk about transitioning into the new world, society, and the culture. How was it for you? It was exhilarating, invigorating, and I felt more free than I ever felt in my life. It was so freeing and so liberating to suddenly recognize that I can do whatever I want. I can dream as big as I want. I can go after my biggest dreams. And also having that inner trust that I'm not going to abuse those choices because of my disciplined upbringing on choosing values and, uh, and, and living a life that's you know, pleasing to, the, to my Heavenly Father. You know, and desiring to um, you know, spread the gospel message. I was very passionate, still am, as much as ever, about anything uh, related to spiritual things and spreading the gospel message. So I had no qualms about me, you know, going in excess or extravagance in any area, but still, the capacity to suddenly have the freedom to choose was very liberating. What about adjusting to culture? How is it? How is it for you? How is it for you now? Well, for the longest time and even now, I still feel like a foreigner in my own uh, new community. You know, I go to the store, I, I'm driving down the road, I go to a church, I still feel the culture within that I was raised in, mm -hmm. which shaped my worldview, how I think and mm -hmm. how I view things, how I process things. And so I still feel like a, a little bit of a foreigner mm -hmm. amongst other people. Like I don't totally fit in. Uh, now in the in the body of Christ, those walls crumble. Not they're not there as much because we have something in common. Mm -hmm. But as far as how we interact with life, you know, the me first society, don't quite relate to that as much. Where, you know, I, I get frustrated sometimes, you know, uh, just going down, driving down the road and going to the store and just seeing how everyone is absorbed with their phones and themselves and just hurry, hurry, hurry. And I, I, I grew up in deep community, you know, and so that part has been a challenge. But for the most part, I'm live and let live. You know, I, I don't judge people, you know, because I recognize they had a different upbringing. So that's mm -hmm. all they know. So I don't expect them to be more than what they know. Um, I, I choose to live by example for myself and and let my example be an inspiration to others to, uh, mm. to have a bigger view of what could be. Yeah, that's good. There's another question that I was going to ask you and it's, um, you know, how people say that, oh, you can take man from the Amish, but you can't take Amish from man. Well, is that true? It depends on what you're referring to. Um, us being creatures that can grow, learn, and develop, nothing is ever, uh, you know, completely solid because I have uncles that were born and raised Amish and they never joined the Amish. They uh, turned 16 and they got promptly got themselves a vehicle and off they went and they never returned. They barely understand the language. They can understand it but they can barely speak it. The original uh, Swabian German dialect also known as Pennsylvania Dutch. And they have been so culturally ingrained in society as we know it that you wouldn't know other than that they still hold firmly to more traditional conservative values deep down but largely you wouldn't be able to tell so again it, it it eventually you become the culture that you live in long enough it'll it'll grow on you you know so it's a process mm -hmm. that's good